Alrighty guys, it is Quaman here today and I'm doing another Dragon Ball Z segment on a question that I was asked on my Ask.fm account. So, in today's video, I'll be answering this question on... Why did Goku choose not to return to the hyperbolic time chamber during the Cell game saga? So in today's video, I'll give my theory on why Goku chose not to go back in the hyperbolic time chamber and why he decided to fight Cell after only going in one time with Gohan. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. Now, personally, I believe that the first reason that Goku gives for why he didn't go back in the hyperbolic time chamber is a cover-up. In both the manga and the anime, Goku said this. But why? You do realize you can still spend another day in there. I understand, but I'd rather not go in. It really won't help any. Uh. Training there takes way too much out of me. <laughs> I get it. Little Kakarot finally admits that he's too weak to continue. Yeah, right. If you think torturing your body in there is the same as training, then go for it. I wish you'd take my advice, Vegeta. Uh? But I know how important it is to you that you keep up with my strength level. So you'll be needing all the time you can get. Oh, really? Kakarot, call me crazy, but you make it sound as if you've become a great deal stronger than I am. Sure, I'm far above you. What? <laughs> now, going back to what I said, this is essentially saying that overstressing your body doesn't necessarily help you train, as he called it torture. Saying this leads to questions regarding why Vegeta was never able to catch up to Goku as he stressed his body out much more than Goku when he trained. As a matter of fact, my video on why is Goku stronger than Vegeta has been uploaded to Black and Fist's channel as it exceeds the 15 minute mark so please watch that video in addition to this one to get more information on why Goku is stronger than Vegeta specifically. But either way, Goku supposedly not wanting to stress his body physically and Goku not wanting to stress out his friends and family members mentally is reason number one as we know that Goku doesn't want them to be afraid by Cell blowing up the whole planet and everything else. But to be honest, I think Goku was using that reason as a cover up. I believe that there is a much bigger reason behind him not going back. Now, I'm pretty sure that I am not the only person on the planet who has thought about this, but I've always had my own little theory as to why Goku chose not to go back. In the anime, during Gohan's fight with Cell, we see a little flashback of Gohan turning Super Saiyan 2 while he was training in the hyperbolic time chamber with Goku. Now, I know that this never happened in the manga specifically, but even though it was never shown, we can assume that Goku saw something special in Gohan's power while he was training with him in order for him to choose not to go back in the hyperbolic time chamber as well. Now, going back to my point, right before Goku was telling Vegeta that he chose not to go back, Goku takes a visit to Cell at the Cell Games. Keep in mind that while Goku was in the hyperbolic time chamber, he had no idea how strong Cell was on the outside, and he had no clue if Vegeta and Trunks had defeated Cell by themselves. So because of that, he needed some indication of how strong Cell was. So, when Goku took a trip to see Cell for himself, he got some indication of how strong Cell was. Now I'm sure we can both agree that Goku knew that Cell was definitely not in his full power as Goku was not in his full power himself, but visiting Cell gave him at least something to scale his possibilities of winning against him. To add support for Goku's intentions, he then went to visit his old master Korin afterwards. One quick detail that Goku talked to with Korin is when Korin asked him if Goku discovered anything special, Goku said to himself that he actually did find something special and Gohan looks in confusion. This foreshadows my next point. 
He powers up to half of his power and then asks Corrin of his chances of beating Cell. Now Corrin responded to this by saying that Cell was still moderately stronger than Goku and Goku was completely calm about it. Now here is what I call the biggest clue as to why Goku did this. Right after Goku powered up, Gohan said to himself in his mind in the manga, has father gotten that much stronger? Is he really that strong? And he said it in a way that implied that he wasn't necessarily impressed with Goku's strength. In the Viz translation of the manga, the one that I own, Gohan actually says, that can't be half of dad's strength, which even implies it even more. So regardless of if you go by the Viz translation or the original translation, the point is pretty clear, at least you can Im interpret it as Gohan wasn't impressed with Goku's strength. But I think I've said enough to summarize all of his intentions. But I'm sure that we could all agree that now that many of us are older, looking back at it as kids, that was a big foreshadowing that Gohan was going to defeat Cell. Now, I'm sure that we can all agree that after training with Gohan, Goku learned some of the depths of Gohan's power. Even though we didn't see Gohan's hidden power while training with Goku in the hyperbolic time chamber in the manga, we can both assume that Goku caught that glimpse of Gohan's power somewhere in the middle of their training sessions. So after Korin told Goku that Cell was somewhat stronger than him, Goku knew that his son was light years ahead of both of them with his hidden power unlocked and that Cell would have had to have been holding back so much power that he would be light years ahead of Goku in power for Gohan to potentially lose, which was not the case as Goku was not light years weaker than regular perfect Cell. In addition, just add in the fact that since they had finished their training, when Gohan transformed into a Super Saiyan 2 in the hyperbolic time chamber, he was much weaker than he was when he exited it with Goku since his training was complete. Now, after analyzing this even further, this means that if Goku was somewhat close in power to Cell, then Gohan would take Cell down easily since he knew for sure that Gohan was light years ahead of him, especially after training. However, Goku wanted to show Gohan how Cell fights which is why he chose to fight against Cell first as hinted by Piccolo in the anime. Now I know that this was never said in the manga, but it can be implied since Goku never planned on defeating Cell and because Goku wanted Gohan to beat Cell the whole time. This would mean that he would have no reason to fight against Cell in the first place except to show Gohan how Cell fights. Because of this, that's why Goku was so calm. If Cell was much stronger, I definitely think Goku and Gohan would have returned back into the hyperbolic time chamber even though it would have been stressful to their bodies. I hint more into what their training was like in my video on Why Was Goku Stronger Than Vegeta which was uploaded to Black and Fist's channel. But either way, I believe that Goku was so confident in Gohan defeating Cell that he even gave Cell a Senso Bean because of his confidence, which seemed completely dumb at the time that I first saw it along with most of you who probably felt the same way. So guys, that has been my video for today. Goku's reasoning was that it would put too much stress on his body, but in reality it was because Goku just finished getting a scale of how strong Cell was and how strong Cell could possibly be. After knowing that Cell was still stronger than him, Goku factored in the worst case scenario and still probably felt confident in his son defeating Cell as we see later on that Gohan was light years ahead of Perfect Cell. However, Gohan got too cocky during the fight with his power which led to Super Perfect Cell which closed the gap between both of their powers. As a matter of fact, I did a video on that a while back so check that out in the description. Also, please remember to watch my video on why is Goku stronger than Vegeta, which has been uploaded to Black and Fist's channel. I'll post a link in the description to that as well. Also, please subscribe to the Black and Fist as he is my video partner and he is my backup channel in case YouTube ever takes me down, which is very possible based on the fact that I recently got a copyright strike. Also, remember to subscribe to my other new video partner, Thundershot69 as well. All links will be to everything in the description. But most importantly, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, 
And remember, as I always say, to have a great day, guys. I'm afraid that I can't win this fight. I need someone to take over. That someone is you, son. Uh.